Hey everyone, welcome back to Yasna Dao TV and today I want to share with you the three reasons why people fail creating their own private label products. Now, I don't want to spoil the fun, but this is reality and it's what happens. And that's why you hear me talk a lot about how simple this process really is and how anybody can do it and you don't need a business or marketing degree to succeed if you do it the right way. So if it's truly that easy, why is it that so many people don't succeed? So we're going to address that today. So over the last few years, I've done coaching for people who are looking to develop their own private label product line and helping them to bring their business ideas to life. And as a bonus, I offer one-on-one -on -one private coaching. And so I've surveyed my clients to see why they haven't finished and launched their private label product line within the first six months. And it was clearly obvious that something along the way didn't go right because it shouldn't take you more than six months to develop your own private label product line. And during the research, I found some major commonalities with the people who have not succeeded after six months versus the people who have seen success. And here are the three things that I've discovered. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that I discovered is that people who don't succeed within the first six months tend to be perfectionists. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a perfectionist. It actually can be a really good thing if it's at the right time. And it's great because you're really detailed at whatever you do and you're always giving it your all but at the same time you need to be able to take action and make decisions fast. If you're spending a whole month to design your product label and then you decide to change it making sure everything's perfect and then you keep editing it and redoing it then you're spending too much time on it. That's great that you're so detailed and that you've had high standards. That's awesome and there's time for that but when it comes to business what's even more important and what's going to get you further is taking action and just being quick about getting things done because there's a lot of competition in this business and they're going to get ahead of you if you're not moving fast. Another common thing that I see people do is that they research too much and they get overwhelmed with information and it almost paralyzes them to take action. They start to overanalyze every single detail and try to find the best information. And you've probably heard this term before, it's very common because what happens is people get caught up with information overload. They start to do one thing and they want to make sure it's really good and then they start on something else and they never really finish anything because they keep on trying to find the best information. A lot of times what happens when people are doing the product research, they get into analysis paralysis and some people it takes them six months to pick their product idea. It really shouldn't take you that long to make a decision. So remember that nothing is perfect in life. A perfection is a subjective term. Perfection is really in the eye of the beholder and so there is no such a thing as a perfect product line and there is no such a thing like the perfect packaging or the perfect branding. Some people will love your brand and some never will. And that's okay too. So just do your best and always put out your best and learn to make decisions quickly. All right? So those are my three reasons I discovered why people fail developing their own product line. Number one is just being a perfectionist. Number two is information overload by researching too much. And number three is not taking action and not making decisions quickly. It's not the fundamental techniques. This is the misconception. People think that, oh, maybe it's the logistics, you know, maybe it's because they didn't go to college or maybe it's because they don't have the experience, but it's never that. That stuff is the easy part. It's the you and your mindset. You're the, the differentiator. You're the one who determines whether you're successful or not. All the information that you need is out there. You're the one who has to determine the success of your product line. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions regarding this, please feel free to comment down below. Remember to subscribe, share this video and keep inspiring, innovating and making an impact in your business.